Hey everybody, uh, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to take apart your Xbox 360 hard drive to get the actual hard drive out of it. Um, just one thing you need to know is that once you get this out, you can use it with your laptop or a hard, or not hard drive, but uh, you can use it as a hard drive, but you can use it with your laptop or desktop depending on what type of converter cable you have. And um, yeah, so... With that being said, uh, there is a hidden screw under here, under this silver Microsoft sticker, so you will have to take that off in order to get to that. And other than that, there are just two screws uh, down here at the bottom and up here at the top. So um, I've already gotten these out, so I can just go ahead and lift this off. And uh, once you have this open, you'll see, well, I've got it separated, but uh, you'll see a metal casing on the inside. Let's see if I can get it. All right. Um, that'll look kind of like this, and you'll see your hard drive inside of it, okay? What you need to do is you need to take another set of four screws out. Um, these four screws are going to be located uh, here and here, and also here and here, okay? And then uh, once you get those screws out, this just basically slides off, you can throw that away, um, and then you'll have your main, um, you know, hard drive inside the casing and everything. You can separate this from the um, bottom board by pulling on it. Um, it does take a bit of force, but it shouldn't take too much if your clips aren't tight. And if they are, then just continue pulling on it until it lifts off. All right. So once you have that off of the plastic, you can throw the plastic away. Um, then what you're going to want to do is slide it out slowly while uh, trying to get the um, the small plastic bit or metal bit that comes out of the end. Uh, that actually goes inside of your console. Uh, you're going to want to pull that out uh, as carefully as you can to keep it intact um, while pulling your um, or sliding your hard drive out the bottom of the uh, of the casing. So let me see if I can get this out first. Um, they're a bit tricky sometimes. All right, there we go. So now I have the plug out, and I can just continue to slide this out until I have my hard drive separated. Now we can throw that away and here we have our uh, IDE. This is a SATA or serial ATA hard drive 120 gigabytes and we still have it connected to our Xbox converter cable. Uh, to disconnect this all you have to do is unplug that. There you go and here's your converter cable. Uh, you can actually use a different SATA hard drive with a bigger capacity than is recommended for the Xbox or at least a uh, bigger one that you then you can find online so you can go ahead and throw that <clears throat> and here you have your actual hard drive for the Xbox um, as you can see that serial ATA um, and uh, yeah it says it right there and um, that's a 120 gigabyte hard drive that you can use with your laptop um, and now you can get a USB converter for this uh, and I'll be doing a tutorial in a couple of days on how to convert this to USB for an external hard drive or if you want how to convert it uh, to use in your uh, computer. So um, with that being said that is how you open up an Xbox uh, hard drive. Um, that's how you take out the main hard drive of it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys learned something and I'll see you next time.